Beneath the brilliant sun, a vast lake shimmers, slicing through an otherwise lush wetland. Approximately 200,000 years ago, this location witnessed the emergence of a new species, Homo sapiens. These modern humans evolved from their Neanderthal ancestors, marking the beginning of humankind's reign. Remarkably, scientists have now pinpointed the precise place where this extraordinary journey started. Geneticist Vanessa Hayes, leading a study at the Garvin Institute of Medical Research in Sydney, utilized specific scientific data to identify this remarkable site. To accomplish this, Hayes and her expert team harnessed mitochondrial DNA extracted from 1,217 cell samples. Mitochondrial DNA, which passes from mothers to their offspring, played a pivotal role in this quest. Identifying a population with an extensive maternal lineage proved essential. With the pertinent DNA information collected and analyzed, the research team initially outlined a general area of origin. Subsequent archaeological and geological investigations helped Hayes and her colleagues unveil an astonishing discovery, a massive ancient lake that transformed into wetlands. The lush greenery surrounding this area served as the backdrop for the first humans to tread the earth. It is a well-established fact that humankind traces its origins to the African continent. However, tracing the path of human evolution and migration has proven challenging as fossil records remain sparse. Consequently, the ancestral roots of humankind become clearer as scientists approach more recent times. Homo sapiens emerged after a split from primate ancestors around 7 million years ago, though the scarcity of fossil records makes it difficult to connect all the dots. Nevertheless, scientists are certain that the Neanderthals, who roamed Europe, never ventured as far as Africa. Although the Neanderthal population laid the foundation for modern humans, they did not serve as the source of the species. Instead, it was the evolution of Homo heidelbergensis and Homo erectus that paved the way for Homo sapiens. These new humans exhibited subtle differences that set them apart from the Neanderthals. Homo sapiens had a more slender build and excelled in crafting sophisticated tools, such as sleek elongated blades and throwing spears, which improved their hunting prowess. Two main theories emerged among scientists to explain how and where humankind originated. The multi-regional hypothesis posits that human ancestors spread across the globe, allowing modern humans to evolve in various regions worldwide. In contrast, the out of Africa theory suggests that modern humans developed on the African continent over millennia before migrating to other parts of the world. Advancements in DNA testing during the 1980s provided strong support for the out-of-Africa theory. Researchers utilized mitochondrial DNA, which is passed from mothers to their children, to trace ancestral lineages. This method led to the conclusion that humankind's origin could be traced back to Africa. Additionally, researchers identified one woman, known as Eve, whose unbroken lineage of daughters allowed her mitochondrial DNA to persist through the ages. While she is not considered the first human woman, Eve lived when the human population numbered around 10,000. Her genetic code has been transmitted through countless generations to the present day, making her humankind's most recent common ancestor. The combined evidence from DNA and archaeological findings points to major migrations that began between 60,000 and 80,000 years ago. Modern humans left their African origins and began dispersing to Asia. Around 45,000 years ago, they reached Australia, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea. 5,000 years later, they ventured into Europe, taking two potential routes, along the Mediterranean coast or through Turkey and the Danube River. In this process, Neanderthals were pushed into isolated mountainous areas until their species disappeared about 25,000 years ago. The human journey, spanning about 15,000 years, brought Homo sapiens to the Americas, starting in Asia and crossing the Pacific to North and South America for settlement. While the African continent is considered the cradle of humanity, the scarcity of fossil evidence from the earliest human history is striking. This is in contrast to the continent's current landscape, where arid conditions readily expose ancient remains. 
Archaeologists have faced considerable challenges in discovering skeletal evidence of the first Homo sapiens, suggesting that early humans might not have buried their dead, instead resorting to practices like cremation or natural decomposition. Despite the limited skeletal record, modern science and technology have enabled researchers to trace human origins. In a 2019 study led by geneticist Vanessa Hayes at the Garvin Institute of Medical Research in Sydney, mitochondrial DNA from 1,217 samples was examined. This genetic material provided insights into the ancestral roots of humankind. The researchers identified the Zero Law lineage, stretching back to the common ancestor, Eve. Over time, this lineage diversified into five main branches as humans left Africa and adapted to different environments. The study precisely located the region where the Zero Law lineage originated, a vast territory stretching from Namibia into Botswana and Zimbabwe. Geological, fossil, and archaeological evidence was incorporated to further support the findings, despite the modern appearance of some of the areas of interest a region once covered by a massive lake about 200,000 years ago, roughly the size of New Zealand, transformed into a wetland, and is believed to be the cradle of modern humankind. The current landscape, characterized by salt pans, differs significantly from its lush and thriving past, which offered a suitable habitat for early humans and wildlife. This wetland acted as an oasis in the arid surroundings, supporting human life for around 70,000 years. However, a climate shift, influenced by changes in the Earth's orbit and tilt, led to the departure of early humans from the wetlands. Rainfall encouraged plant growth, creating green corridors that motivated humans to venture beyond their wetland homes, marking the beginning of a global migration. Vanessa Hayes' study essentially confirmed humankind's African origins, while pinpointing this origin to a wetland in Botswana. Nevertheless, not all experts were fully convinced, with some cautioning against relying solely on modern genetic distributions to deduce ancestral population locations from 200,000 years ago. Chris Stringer, a specialist in human origins, emphasized the vast complexity of Africa and the need for a more comprehensive approach that considers multiple factors. Other studies have suggested different regions within Africa as possible origins for humankind, with some researchers proposing the combination of ancestry from various parts of Africa and interbreeding with human groups outside the continent. In light of these diverse perspectives, the exact origins of humankind may remain elusive, but the study offers a window into the world, as it might have been 200,000 years ago, when early humans thrived in the Botswana wetland. Subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates.